Hey, it's Rich, the Louisiana Hobby Guy. It's a light burn marathon. <laughs> three videos in three days. Barely had enough time to shower and shave every day trying to get these three videos out. This one is important. We're going to be talking about Lightburn's new pricing. This is going to be a very quick video today. So let's just jump right into it and talk new pricing starting October 1st, 2024. Okay, so if you're used to Lightburn, never bought it before, you're going to come to this purchase page on their website. And you're going to see all of these different examples of the different licenses that are available. All of this is going away tomorrow. So it's going to be two versions that are going to be available. So this was kind of confusing before. G-Code, DSP for CO2, added support. Over here is the Galvo support. And it was just very confusing. So starting tomorrow, October 1st, 2024, you're going to see just two versions of Lightburn. There's going to be Lightburn Core, and the price is changing as well. There's going to be Lightburn Core, which is $99, and there's going to be Lightburn Pro, which encompasses everything else. So that Lightburn Pro is going to be for every other machine on the market other than G-Code. So that's gonna make life really simple for new users that have never seen it before. Here is the pricing on October 1st. This is what I was just talking about. And you can see here, Lightburn Core, $99. That's just for G-Code. And everything else is Lightburn Pro at $199. All existing DSP and Galvo customers are being automatically and freely upgraded to Lightburn Pro as a thank you to our early customers. So if you're watching this video today, today's the day to do it. <laughs> Why the changes? Well, they're moving to two license types to, like I said earlier, to reduce the confusion. The Lightburn Pro is going to be actually $11 cheaper than it was before. These price increases don't take effect till October 1st, but these are the new 2025 pricing uh, prices. What about software updates? Well, it's always been called the license renewal, but they'll be talking about software updates from now on because it better reflects the license. And you buy the license once and it's yours for life. For the rest of 2024, you can still buy a year of software updates for $30 for both Lightburn Core and Lightburn Pro. In early 2025, that will change. $50 if you're buying updates again or if your license has lapsed, with a big exception for existing customers. $45 if you've been paying for the software updates for at least a year, which most people probably have including the year that came with the new license purchase. $40 if you've been paying for software updates continuously for the past two years, which is a lot of us, so that's really not a big change in the price. If your license key dates from 2024 or earlier, they will always allow you to buy another year of updates at the lowest offered price, even if you lapse. This is, again, a thank you from them to their early customers who have gotten the company to the level that they're at today. And there you go. Quick, very fast uh, information today. Part three uh, on the Lightburn Marathon, three days in a row. And we've covered all of the new pricing for Lightburn. I really like that they've consolidated the all of the other beside the g-code all of the other machines into one license because that just cuts down on the questions that i get i can't even tell you how many questions i get which license should i buy they even have an entire page on their website dedicated to it with a link that explains what each one of them are so now this makes it really simple you have diode and everything else so i really love the fact I want to give a shout out to the Lightburn team because they've been doing such a great job this year in 2024 and they've pushed out all of these updates 
and come out with version 1.7. It is now, in, in my opinion, it always has been the best laser cutting software on the market. Uh, some people have disagreed with it, but a lot of people are changing their mind now with all the new features in 1.6 and 1.7. So that's it for today. Very quick video today. And I just want to give you a reminder that click in the description down below, click that little dot, dot, dot more to expand it. There are all types of links down in there. A lot of them laser related. There's links to my forum. There's links to my Facebook group. There's links to my Instagram. There's links to my son's new hat website for custom hats. There's links to his new t-shirt website for custom t-shirts. There's just a ton of links that I put down below and you can also pick up a new CO2 like I have behind me here or a fiber laser or I just spent a lot of time on those links and you'll get a lot of good information. Uh, it might You might even find something that you've been looking for. So I hope you enjoyed this quick part three of the Lightburn Marathon, three videos in three days. And now I can uh, go and get some rest. So as always, I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next Urban one. Personalized.